this video, I'll be showing you how you can add text around the circle inside Photo P. So what you want to do is you just want to go over to this rectangle tool over here. And next to the rectangle, you can see that there's a tiny little arrow. And um, what that arrow means is if you right click whatever tool it is, um, there's more options within that tool. So it's like more choices. So we just want to right click that rectangle tool and press ellipse. And um, you can see these options appear. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over this so you know what it is. Um, fill. Um, I'll just show you. Fill um, fills the inside of the circle. And the stroke um, is basically the outline of the circle. Like this. So this is fill and this is the stroke. I just wanted to quickly go over that. So just in case if you guys didn't know what each of those was. So um, for this demonstration, I'm just going to um, use a stroke. So you can do the same thing if you want, but I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So um, you just want to click fill and press this X, click stroke, click this red box, and you can see that these colors appear. But um, if you want a more advanced color picker, you can just press this red box and then you can have um, this option right here. But um, I'm basic and I'm just going to make my circle black and you can just press OK. Then over here next to the stroke there are these numbers and this is the size of your stroke. So I'm just going to um, do this size and to actually make a circle you just want to left click your canvas and drag. But the thing is um, if we look at the width and the height um, it's not the same numbers and for a circle um, a circle is symmetrical So it's not a perfect circle, but to make a perfect circle You just want to hold down shift on your keyboard and left and um, click hold them both at the same time and just drag and You could see that the width and the height are the same numbers which means um, we have a perfect circle So you can just let go once you're done and um, I'm going to move my circle into the middle by using this move tool, which is the very first tool. Um, so you can see that um, a blue line has appeared inside our circle. So that's what we're going to use to make um, our text go around our circle. So we want to go over to this text tool over here. So you just want to left click. Then if you click this um, box over here, you can change the font of your text, the size of your text, and the color of your text. And there are also these three options over here. Um, the default is this left, left option, but we want to change it and click it to this option in the middle, which is the center alignment. So just click that. And now um, once you've picked your font and the size and the color of your text, you could just left click on this blue line and you can just type wherever you want. I'm just going to type hello. And um, once you've finished typing your text, these two options would appear. Um, so the X means to cancel the text. So if you made a mistake and you're not happy with your text or you want to change it, press the X. But if you're happy with your text and you want to confirm it, just press that tick icon over there. So, um, this doesn't look that appealing because the text isn't in the middle and it's off um, onto the side. So to fix that, um, it's a pretty simple fix. You want to go over to this icon over here and this is called the path select tool. So we have the text tool, under that we have the pen tool and under the pen tool we have the tool that we will be using which is the path select tool. So I'm um, just right click the path select and click path select just in case if it's not already selected and um, you want to click anywhere on this blue um, circle and you can see that um, these four dots have appeared and what this is is the vertical and horizontal line in the circle which helps you with proportion which is really helpful and um, if we just ignore those four circles you can see that we have this square that um, over here that has also appeared so I'm just going to um, drag it and you can see that it has made our text weird, but that's okay because it's just such an easy fix. So 
um, we have an X and we have a circle and the X um, represents the start of your text and the circle represents the end of your text. So um, you can see that our text has gone upside down and it has completely moved positions. So um, to fix that and to put it in its natural spot and to um, align it in the middle. So if I drag, if I hold, um, if I hold the circle and drag my cursor outwards, you could see it's not doing anything. But if I um, continue holding the circle and drag my cursor inwards, you could see that um, the text has changed. So wherever my cursor is, that just depends if the text is on this side of the line or if it's on this side, on the other side of the line. So um, yeah, if you just have any um, questions with this, just put them in the comment section and I can help you. So we are going to fix this. So we're going to um, drag our cursor on the outside of this blue line and just drag it up. So we can put it back to our normal text like that. Oops. And we're going to do the same thing with this X like that. And so um, to make it in the middle, it might look like it's in the middle, but it's actually not. To make it perfectly in the middle, you want to go, um, you want to drag this X to this one over here. So to this dot, and you want to drag that circle to this other dot to line it up and this X and that circle is perfectly in line which means it's straight. So that's how you um, straighten up the text but let's just say we want to um, add another text which um, says something else on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Make sure you click the text tool again and write something um, and click the blue line. I'm going to type by and press that tick mark. Um, make sure you have your path select tool um, selected. Click the blue line again. Make sure you're on that your recent text layer. And um, we want to look for that square, which is right over here. And you can see that our text isn't facing the right way. It's facing upside down. So to fix that, as I mentioned before, if I drag the cursor up, it does nothing. But if I put the cursor towards the middle, it flips the side. So you could probably see where we're going with this. Um, click the circle or the cross, drag it into the, um, put, face your cursor into the middle and just drag it around and do the same thing. And we want to line our, um, our by into the middle. So we'll do the exact same thing we did with the hello, drag the X to that side and drag that circle to the other side like that making sure that um, our cursor is um, facing, pointing towards the middle. So we'll just line it up like that. And that's basically how you do it. But the thing is, is that our text isn't in the middle. So our hello is more um, towards um, the outside of the circle and um, our by is towards this side of the circle, but we want our text to be perfectly in the middle of it. So to do that, make sure you have your text layer selected and click this T icon over here. And if you guys don't have that, I'm sure you do, but sometimes they won't. You just click this window and click character, but I'm sure you guys um, will all have that T icon over there. And um, we're gonna look at baseline shift so if we click this drop down arrow and drag um, this dot towards the left, you can see that ha our hello text has gone more towards the center of the circle. If we drag it out, it will go towards the outside of the circle. So to make it in the middle, we want um, to drag it towards the inside of the circle. So that means we'll um, put this dot to the left. But the thing is, is that our slider will only go to negative 10. So, um, that's okay because you can always just type the number in. So uh, I'm just going to do negative 20 and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks fine. So um, you know how it's in the middle when um, this blue line is cutting off half of um, your text like that. And we'll do the exact same thing with the hello text, which will be negative 20, just like that. 
So yeah, um, that's how you make text around the circle inside Photo P. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you need any help, just let me know and I can help you. Bye!